So the question of should you focus on yourself or date girls? Now, I think there's many different angles to go from this perspective, from this question, many different ways you can attack it. But let, let's start with the bare basics. So what a lot of guys on self-improvement is that they, su- they say that you should focus on yourself. You should become the kind of man that attracts girls. And then as soon as you build your money off, as soon as you build your aesthetic physique, your attraction, that's when the girls start coming in. You don't have to worry about chasing the girls. The girls will come to you. And it will show that you're worthy of them. Now, of course, there'll be a lot of low quality girls attracted to you, but you are finally worthy of attracting the high quality girls as well. Now, this is all well and good, but imagine you focused on your business. You're, you know, you've got to a, you know, a good level of status. You've got a lot of money, good physique, etc. Imagine if, right, you're attracting all of these girls and you don't know how to act. Right, you're acting as if you know. Oh, you're nervous. You're overthinking. You're you're stuttering when you speak. You're oh, uh, hello. Um, do you want to? Uh, 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 oh, you're really pretty. Sending all these dumb texts that you don't need to. These girls are gonna be immediately turned off because they're like, "What the hell? How is this chuffing giga chad? Got no social skills. How is he unable to talk to girls when he looks like that? It just doesn't make sense." Now, if we take it on to the other side, let's say we, you know, take the gas off on our self-improvement a little bit and focus on dating girls. Now, if you're first starting out in self-improvement, I don't recommend that you just go for girls because you've got no sort of like, sure, you can learn social skills and you could literally be like the best seducer of all time. But if you stink, if you've got a really skinny, fat body if your clothes are completely sun-faded, scraggy and dirty, no girl, no matter how smooth you are, is going to be attracted to you. And this is why we must have balance. Now, I know a lot of people out there, all the self-improvement gurus are like, oh, balance, you can't do balance. Ultimately, life is like a balancing act. There's all these different things that we have to give attention to. Now, of course, we need to make sure that our attention is placed on the right things. Like, for example, people could make the argument of, let's say we write down all the things that we focus on. So we've got school, maybe we've got a part-time job, maybe we've got fitness, maybe we've got social skills, right? Now, in theory, a lot of those we could eliminate, right? We could eliminate work. We could just quit our job and focus on our business. We could forget about school. We could eliminate that. We could eliminate fitness. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing that because, you know, your fitness, if you haven't got health, what have you got? But then things like social skills, sure, we can eliminate that, but it's still going to be there. Ooh, you're like, hey, what are you trying to go down there for? <laughs> um, we've still got, like, the attribute, if you will, like sort of the trait of social skills that you can't just get rid of. Like, it's still going to be there. Even if you ignore it, it's not like you can just get loads of money and then, oh, the social skills doesn't matter because you've got loads of money. No, you need to be able to speak and convey your thoughts well and be able to attract people in that way and influence people. Imagine you have two plants, right? Let's let's make it more simple. Imagine you have two plants. One plant represents your self-improvement. It represents, you know, your fitness, your, you know... A, physical attributes, stuff like that. It's just you on self-improvement, focusing on yourself, your business, etc. And then you have an, another plant, which is dating girls, right? It's the sort of amount of time and energy that you're going to put into dating girls. And the time and energy is represented by the water that you give to it. The water represents the time. Now, if you just give loads of water to the um, the self-improvement side of things sure it's going to flourish it's going to grow into this magnificent plant but then when you look over at the dating side of things the girl side the seed hasn't even sprouted it's just you know the soil's dry the seed's just dormant and it wouldn't imagine you just had these two plant pots on your windowsill like you just had this beautiful magnificent plant and then this vacant one even though you've got this magnificent flowering beautiful piece of nature You've still got this vacant dormant one that people are going to look at and they're going to think, oh, that's nice, but 
why have you not focused on that? Why is that one not getting the time and attention? So I think you do need a good balance. If Because if you like give time and energy to both of the plants, if you water both of the plants, sure, the self-improvement one might not grow as fast, but you've now got two plants that are leveling up together and becoming more beautiful and it's not going to be as an, much of an eyesore or distracting when people look at them and be like oh wow that's a beautiful plant and this one's a beautiful plant as well i can tell that you've really put time into this into your social skills and your self-improvement so i don't think you should really focus or give all of your attention to one thing because if you focus on this one thing it's just going to flourish but then all the other seeds are going to die now what you have to be careful of is that when you're young you're going to probably get easily attached like me for example with the few girls that i've had exper experiences with and it is few because it's only recently that i've started you know going with girls at 18 years old i've had my social awakening can you believe it but you do sort of like I'm a chronic overthinker. I think it comes down to me being kind of, you know, kind of intelligent. Not to not to toot my own arm. No, bro, I am fucking intelligent. What you say? <laughs> uh, it's just sort of, you know, something that I I'm a very logic based person. So every time I'm like thinking of a situation, like no matter what it is, whether it's like as simple as you know driving a car, it's taken me a year and a half to become able to drive a car. I've got my third driving test coming up this week. And it's down to overthinking that I've not been able to drive properly for so long. And it's the same with social situations and girls. It's my overthinking that has been my downfall. And you don't want to be in a relationship where you have to overthink, where you're worrying, where you're thinking, oh, what's this, 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 this. And I think if that's what you're doing in a relationship, then it probably shows that you're not ready for that kind of relationship yet. Sure, go on dates, sure, interact with girls, interact with people in general, just be a social outgoing person. But you have to be honest with yourself. You have to say, am I ready for this? Is this, who's sending me emails? Ted recommendations, I need to unsubscribe from that. You need to be honest and say, am I ready? Am I, you know, it's even to the girl, you've got to be fair to the girl. Am I able to give all my time and attention to this girl? Because what a lot of guys also do is that they get the girl, they think, oh, we're going to be happily ever after, you know, this is my future wife. And then they completely forget the self-improvement. It's like, well, I don't, I don't need to self-improve now. I've got the girl. You've got to give, you know, people are just focused on too many things. They go to one extreme and another extreme. You've got to have balance in order to be successful. Sure, you could argue jack of all trades, but a master of none, but... Imagine you had a guy who's a master at Lux Maxing, but he's never been on a date before. He's got this beautiful easel that he's crafted. He's put it together and he's got a blank canvas. But yeah, he's not put any paint on it. What's the point in having a blank canvas? You've got to paint. You've got to have these beautiful colors molding together. You've got to have these experiences that you've represented. So the answer to the question should you focus on yourself or should you date? Do both, bro. Self-improvement isn't just about, you know, becoming. Well, it is becoming the man you always want to be. But the man you want to be has different aspects as well. And social aspects is something that people like to ignore. They like to sort of lock in and go monk mode and I'm not going to interact with people. But what's the point in building this beautiful empire this garden if you're not going to have some butterflies floating around if you're not going to have people in your life that you can cherish and love just a thing to think about bro hope you found this video useful take care like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one take care bro